Hey everyone, my name is Brian Allen and I'm a percussionist with the Oakville Symphony. Thanks to them for having me and today we are going to explore all the instruments that are in my home and all the different instruments I play with orchestras. You all probably know what drumsticks are and have seen drums before, but what is percussion exactly? Some musicians use their lungs to create air through their instrument which makes the sound. Violinists or other string players use their bow to vibrate on a string. Percussion is anything that you hit, anything that you bang, smack, tap, kick, where you're doing the physical motion to make the sound. That's why a piano is even a percussion instrument, because when you look inside, you can see the hammer hitting the string. Percussion. Let's take a look at the staples of an orchestral percussion section. Snare drum, cymbals, and bass drum. A snare drum, we all know from a drum kit, but in an orchestra, a snare drum stands alone as its own instrument. It gets its name from having a snare, or snare bed, at the bottom of a very, very tight drum head. And when it's tightened against the snare, it creates that really satisfying crunch that we all are familiar with. So here's the snare with it off, and when we tighten the snares, we get that crunchy snare bed sound. There are two main types of drum rolls on the snare drum. The first one is called the double stroke or military roll and it sounds like this. The second one we use more typically in an orchestra setting so we call it an orchestral roll or an open stroke roll or a multiple bounce stroke roll and we're essentially bouncing the stick as many times as we can on the drum to create as smooth a sound as possible. Cymbals are always fun to play. When percussionists are playing crash cymbals and hitting two together, we sometimes put one cymbal on a stand and call it suspended cymbal. We can use these for big build-ups in symphonic works and really exciting moments. Since cymbals have such a variety of sound that you can create, we've developed some extended techniques that weren't normally used with cymbals to now create even more sound. You can even take a cello bow to a cymbal to create some interesting effects. This is a bass drum, a cannon, heartbeat, thunder. This drum has imitated all of those things in an orchestra. We can play almost inaudibly so that it's a distant thunder. We use our knee to dampen the drum, and we use our other hand to dampen the resonant head on this side, that although it's not being hit, it's still vibrating sympathetically with this one and creating a lot of resonance. Some of my favorite percussion instruments are smaller handheld instruments, sometimes called auxiliary percussion. Here's a small demonstration of a variety of different auxiliary percussion instruments. This is a tambourine, which you might recognize. Mine has silver jingles, which has a very bright color, but you can also use different metals like copper, bronze, or chrome to create different sounds in your tambourine. Maracas are hollowed out gourds attached to a handle with either rice, seeds, or stones inside to create the sound. The Venezuelans have really mastered the art of maraca playing, and I can't do it as well, but this is the idea of the joropo technique.
are two main ways to play the triangle. In orchestras, we often hang them from a very thin thread or fishing line so that it can ring as loud and as long as possible. But the way it was originally played in Brazil was with no clip, just hanging on your finger and being able to dampen it so that you can have long and short sounds. which are the main instruments used in Western music. You can create many different sounds on marimba just by changing up the type of mallet that you use. If you use something that's considered hard yarn or a harder mallet, you'll hear a lot more of the attack and it'll be a much more staccato type of note. If I simply change to a warmer mallet or a softer mallet, you'll hear much more of the tone and color and not as much of the attack. the ability to play with four mallets. This is the first four mallet tune that I ever learned. It's called Tropical Feel. to sustain the bars as long as they naturally want to ring. If I have the pedal up, it sounds like this, a much more staccato short note. Mallet choice, again, like any percussion instrument, is very important for getting the right sound that we want to create.
let's try out some hard mallets now. With these, you'll hear a lot more sound of the contact happening between the mallet and the bar. Djembe is not very often found in an orchestra setting. Um, they're a special hand drum that takes a lot of specialization to master, uh, which I have not done, <clears throat> but they're a very fun drum to have around and to learn a little bit about the African music culture because they have a very complex and beautiful way of thinking about music. Here's a little bit of the different sounds you can get from djembe. some different percussion instruments today. Thank you to the Oakville Symphony for having me. Uh, my name is Brian Allen and I hope you enjoyed this video.
percussion. 